All right. So I've told you guys that uh, anytime you hear, like, let me say, anytime you hear or, or you see what ectomy attached to any anatomical word, that means what is a surgery to that thing trying to remove it. Do you understand? So in in this scenario of what pericardiectomy now, what are we trying to aim at? You could see from this word you could derive the pericardium. The ectomy, that means what? It's a surgery that you are trying to remove the pericardium. All right? The pericardium being this tissue that is surrounding the heart. So you are trying to skin the heart. It's just like you kill a cow, so you are trying to like skin the skin off. So you are trying to like remove the covering of the heart. Now, this will look weird, but when we get into the lecture, you guys will get to see why sometimes they do this type of what surgeries, all right? indications for this type of surgeries right and sometimes you are doing this type of surgery all, 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 all the times you are doing this type of surgery to now what save the life of the patient because it could be that if the pericardium is left there it's life-threatening do you understand so looking at this pericardiectomy surgery um we'll be defining it they will look at the indications then types of what pericardiectomy then um next is the procedure how to do a pericardiectomy then complications then benefits of this type of surgery then post procedural care all right so for the definition just like i told you guys let me say i see here pericardium is that covering of the heart so if you are doing a surgery to remove the pericardium it's pericardiectomy right but indications is what will now make you guys understand it why we are doing this type of surgery right so the then definition we see that pericardiectomy is a surgical procedure that will involves removing parts or all of the pericardium, which is a sac that is surrounding the heart, right? Then indications. If a patient is having constrictive pericarditis, that's there's inflammation of the pericardium. All right, let's say this pericardium is inflamed. So as it is inflamed now, it's now constricting the heart. The, the pericardium is damaged already. You can't repair, okay? So if there's constrictive pericarditis, which is what scarring and thickening of the pericardium, the best option is just what remove the whole thing. You feel me? All right. Then if the patient is having reoccurring pericardial effusion, pericardial effusion is the accumulation of what fluid around the heart, all right? Which is fluid accumulation. Reoccurring means that as you are treating this pericardial effusion, it's coming back, it's coming back. And if there is no pericardium, there cannot be pericardial effusion. Do you understand? So now, you just be like, okay, because the pericardium is here, the fluid is just accumulated, so just remove it. Then the patient forever and ever, they will never have problems of what? Pericardial effusion. But note that there are complications to this surgery. All right? So you must weigh your options properly. You feel me? Then if the patient is having cardiac tamponade, which is just a life compression of the heart, you do that. If they're having pericardial tumor or cyst, you do that. If they're having trauma or injury to the heart or pericardium, you do that. Then types of pericardiectomy, you could do a total one where you are removing the whole pericardium. You could do a partial pericardiectomy where you are removing just a portion of the pericardium, right? Then you could do pericardial resection. This one is removal of a segment of the pericardium, right? Probably maybe you are removing the segment covering the left ventricular, the, the left ventricle, or you are removing the segment covering the right ventricle. Or the segment covering the, you don't understand. So just a segment of it. Procedure now. You have to access the heart through the chest wall. All right. So it's either you are doing thoracotomy if you are opening the chest wall, or you are doing a minimal invasive approach where you are using all those what scopes. All right. So you incise into the pericardium. That's for open surgery to access the heart. You remove the pericardium. Or the affected part, you remove all or affected parts. Then you repair and reconstruct the surrounding tissues. Then after you're done, you close the incision. So the procedure looks simple, but this is just for undergraduate level. All right. If you want to be a surgeon, then you go to the postgraduate school. That's where you actually know the detailed procedure on how to do this type of surgery. Then complications. Of course, the surgery is a surgery. Every surgery leads to what bleeding and hemorrhage. So to my students, anytime you are in the exam hall or a viva exam, that's an oral exam, and the examiner asks you like, hey, what's up? What are the complications of this surgery? 
The first thing you must start is a bleeding and hemorrhage. Every surgery, bleeding and hemorrhage. Then every surgery has the possibilities of developing an infection. Because there's a wound there, if you don't treat, if there's no proper wound care, infections could result, right? Then heart injuries could result to heart injuries, could result to adhesions or scarring. It could result to what? Respiratory or cardiac complications, right? Benefits. If you are doing this type of surgery, of course, there was something that was compressing the heart, right? So you are doing the surgery now to relieve the patient of all those pains that you are feeling, right? So relief from constrictive pericarditis, improve cardiac functions, reduce risks of cardiac tamponade or relief from cardiac tamponade, enhance patient outcomes, potential cure for what? Anything like pericardial tumor or cyst, right? Then post-procedure care, okay, after the surgery, what is your relationship between you and the patient? Yeah, you'll be monitoring them for complications. You'll be doing pain management. You'll be doing fluid management. You follow up with imaging studies. They'll be dressing the wound, all right, to prevent what? Infections, right? So I think that's it for pericardectomy surgical procedure, right? Definition, indication, types, procedure, complications, beautiful story.